All right, thanks for stopping by. So I am leaving Ridgeway, Colorado. I'm headed toward Telluride. That's the mountain range at Telluride that you're looking at right now. Had to show you this. If you can deal with my dirty windshield. But this is so scenic. So uh, my plan is to ride through Telluride and I'll take, I think, Highway 145 all the way to Dolores and I'll be seeking out some free dispersed camping in that, er that area. And I'll also be seeking some cell signal. I have had none for the last two days. And Amanda tells me that the city park at Dolores has free Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go there first because I've got two very long videos that I need to get up. And then I'm going to get my bearings about me and look for some free dispersed camping in that area. Hopefully I'll be able to find something. Let's see, prescribed burn until the end of June. I don't see any smoke. I think we're good to go. We're scouting out a campsite near Dolores, Colorado. There's free range cows here. So I am now in Dolores, Colorado, which is not far from Cortez. And this will be my last night in Colorado. I know, just three nights. But I think I'm ready to get back around Flagstaff. It's just too hard to find free camping here that's not really crowded. I found this place by just driving around. It wasn't on any of my camping apps, so I just stumbled upon it beautiful place you know what it looks a lot like Flagstaff but it's still hot here yesterday was the best day temperature wise uh, we do have some breeze blowing so it's not too bad but it's much warmer here than in Flagstaff cell signal is really hard to come by in the mountains of Colorado I've got a little bit here it would not work out if I didn't have WeBoost. I've got my WeBoost on. It's just barely enough to stream YouTube videos at low quality. And uh, I don't have any upload. So I will not be able to upload this video until I get back probably to Flagstaff. I went to the city park in Dolores today. They have free Wi-Fi. No password, nothing. You just pull up and connect. And so I got the two videos up. I got day one and day two of the Colorado trip up. I will release the day two video just before you see this one. And it is about 25 minutes long. And it is the best video I have made in a long time. I really enjoyed making that video. And got to ride the e-bike around Uray, Colorado, which is a beautiful town and it's been a great trip but it's just too difficult to find camping here that's you know free dispersed that's in a temperature zone that i can tolerate so i think going back to flagstaff will be the best thing so earlier today i hear this ticking sound coming from my tire and my passenger front tire has a screw in it yeah i've located it so it has a slow leak um, it's okay I have a tire pump the kind you plug into a cigarette lighter and you can even plug them into a power station you know so I'll keep an eye on it in the morning I'll get up and I'll plug it I think I can just plug it and that'll get me back to Flagstaff and then I'll take it to a tire shop and get it patched but um, at least I noticed it you know and the leak is so slow when I get up in the morning, I'll probably still have about 40 pounds of air in the tire because right now it has 50. I run 50 in the front and 70 in the back. The van calls for 50 in the front and 80 in the back, but I always find that 80 is just too much. And these are the, you know, high grade commercial style tires. So you put a lot of air in the back because of the payload of this van. 
So I'll check it in the morning and uh, we'll see from there. But I think I'll just plug it. But the good news is the screw is right in the very center of the tire. You know, if it was over near the wall of the tire, you, you got to buy a new tire. And in this case, I'd have to buy two new tires for the front. But I think I dodged a bullet. I'm glad I noticed it. I heard it when I was on the pavement driving really slow through town. I had the windows down. I heard it ticking. I was hoping it was just a pebble stuck in the tread of the tire. But no, it is a screw. You can still see the Phillips head on the end of the screw. So I haven't been driving around with it long. But that'll be something I got to deal with tomorrow. And after this video goes up, I'll make another one sh explaining how I dealt with tire issues during a road trip. And I guess we'll wrap it up for now. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.